Good afternoon YouTube. In this video I'm going to be showing an update video on my entire firearm collection to celebrate New Year's 2023. Before we start off with the collection video, here are two devices that I end up forgetting to put in the original video. These are my two Cornell Fireworm Corridor lights. The model of them is L101 RFIs. Let's get started off with the collection video. Let's get started. Right over here is my uh, Amzico SSX-52S Siren Strobe. This is my this one right here is my uh, Wheelock HSW Wheelock Cedar. This one right here is my Wheelock HSR. This is my Wheelock MT424 LSM. This is my Wheelock MT24 LSM. This right here is my first ever firearm horse show. Had this thing for seven years. Then my NS24 1575W. This right here is a rather uncommon version of the NS. Not because of its looks, because it's a four wire horn strobe. This is a Wheelock NS4 24 1575W horn strobe from 1998. This right here is my Wheelock LFFHSW LED exceeder low frequency sounder horn strobe. Then right over here is my Wheelock LFFHSR LED exceeder low frequency sounder strobe in red. Right over here are two EST pre-integrities. The one on the left is on the 897B-012 back box. And this one I got brand new in a box a while back. These are 792-7A006s. Right over here is my uh, EST 792-7A Actually, no, 757 7ACS chime strobe. This one is an EST Integrity 757 7AHS first generation EST Integrity from 1996. This one is an EST Integrity 757 7AT horn strobe. This one's a temporal horn strobe. And this one right here is a white one. This one's a mirror tone integrity. Uh, 757-78-SS25W speaker strobe. Right over here are two Wheelock RSS's. This one is an RSS24-1575W. And this one right here on the right is an RSS24-15W. And this one right here is a Wheelock WS-24 D 24 volts DC with a customized strobe. It has WM strobe on it. Right over here is a Wheelock <coughs> EHD01 WM-24 from 1993. Right over here is my Wheelock Aloxa. ELHSR LED horn strobe. Right over here is my Wheelock ASWP 24 W. Actually, it's a 75W ASWP 24 75W. Right over here is my Wheelock CH70 24. Chime, chime from 2015. Right over here is my uh, first ever firearm. Had this thing for over eight years. This is my EST Genesis J1RF HD horn only. This one right here is my Kitta 
EGCF-HDVM. This right here is my uh, EST Genesis G1RF-VM remote strobe. This one is an EST G1R, this one's a G1RF-C chime. And this one right here is an EST G1RF-CVM chime strobe. Dude, here's a couple of rare ones. This one on the right is an Atlas Soundalier SV22-2 remote strobe. And this one right here is an SV42-2 Soundalier strobe. This one is a Gentex Commander 3 police horn strobe. This one is a G. ECB 24 PWB from 2016. This is a Gentex Commander 2 horn strobe, and this one is a Gentex Commander 3. This one right here is a System Sensor SGRL single gang L series strobe, and this one right here is a System Sensor P2RL horn strobe. Here are two System Sensor Spectral Alert Advance P2RH-LF Low Frequency Sounder Strobes. I used to have like four or five of these, but I sold a couple on eBay recently. Right over here is my System Sensor Spectral Alert Advance P2R. Right over here is my System Sensor P2RK Outdoor Horn Strobe. This one's an SR. And this one is a Spectralord Advanced CHS, uh, CHSR Chime Strobe. This right here is a Spectralord CH24-1575 Chime Strobe. And this one over here is my uh, first gen Spectralord. This one is a P24-1575 Horn Strobe. Right over here is a second generation Spectral Alert. This one is a System Sensor P24-1575. And this one's the late gen one before the Advance came out. This is a Spectral Alert P1224MC. This one is a System Sensor S2415 first gen. And this one is a System Sensor S2415-75. Second generation Spectral Word Spectral Word Strobe. Here's a Radionics Relay module. And right over here is a Radionics Annunciator. Right over here is a system is a system sensor I4 Cosmo 2W CO Smoke. And this one right here is an Edwards 278B 1120 dual action pull station this one right here is an Edwards 270A SBO there's a Fenwell fire suppression system release MS2 basically and this one is an FCI MS2 this one's a Firewolf Napco T-Bar Rebranded Radionics RHD T bar. This one is a General Electric dual action T bar. Basically, same thing as that, but with the but with the uh, with the lip with the lip piece. Right over here is my Service Pyrotronics MS fifty one. Right over here is my ADT pull station. Rebranded ESL pull station. Takes a simplex speed key. Right over here is my uh, Bosch dual action T bar. Right over here are two Simplex 4251-113s. One of them has a brake glass. I used to have four of these, but I sold two of them. Right over here is a first generation Simplex 4251. This one is a 4251-114. 
with the metal handle and eight turf and eight screw terminals. Here's a bit look at the back of it. You've got eight screw terminals. You've got two sets of them. Right here is my two second generation. Didn't actually know. This one right here is a Simplex 4251-20. Third generation T-bar. With a plastic button. And right over here are two second generation Simplex 4251-21s. With the uh, metal button on the inside. This one right here is my... Uh, Simplex 4251-30 brake glass T-bar. This one right here is my uh, Simplex 4251-20 key operated only T-bar. This one right here is my Simplex 2099-9795 addressable T-bar. And this one right here is my Simplex 2099-9756 conventional T-bar. Right over here are four Firelight PG6 pull stations. These three are the older models and this one's a super late gen with the Firelight logo by the handle. The older ones have the Firelight logo next on the side of it and these two are on SB6 back boxes. Here you got my Wheelock MBS G10-12 bell strobe. You got my Firelight BG8. We got my uh, Firelight BG10 on an SB10 back box. You got a Firelight BG12 LX. And we got an upload manual conventional call point, aka the knockoff BG12. And we got an AT BG 12L. Not conventional pull station. And we got a super rare pull station. One of the rarest devices in my collection. We got an ADT 5012 006 pull station. Here's the inside of it. We got a Mirtone 73303. Bilingual Canadian pull station. This is my only Canadian device. And we got a Firelight LCD LCD40 Firearm Annunciator. We got a Simplex 4090 91 speaker. We got a Federal Signal speaker strobe. There's a Feral Signal speaker strobe. Look at it. Here's the look at the label. With a V1971 I strobe. We got a Wheelock 7002 24 from 1978. We got my Wheelock 7002 T 24. We got my super late gen Wheelock 7001. Dish V7001, Wheelock V7001 24. We got a smoke detector light right there. And we got a system sensor heat detector. Right here is a system sensor I3 smoke detector. And we got a system sensor 2400TH thermal heat detector. Right over here is a system sensor 2400 smoke detector. Right over here is my simplex true alarm smoke detector. This one right here is my uh, Pyrotronics DI3 with the Pyrotronics logo on the inside. We got a Cerberus Pyrotronics DI3 smoke detector. And I and you got a DIA3 right there. Right over here is my uh, system sensor 
RA400Z remote LED. Those are used for smoke detectors above the ceiling. And we got three Space Age AV32 light plates that are 24 volts and one has a flasher circuit. This one right here has a flasher circuit and is non polarized. The other couple that I have are polarized. This one right here is a white lens Space Age AV32 strobe plate with a Space Age 2, I believe it's a 2D CD. It is a Space Age 2D CD B4 horn. This one is a 120 volt AV32, 120 volt AC with a Space Age 3AC horn. This one is a B1. This one right here is my Space Age V33, a, a, a V33 remote light. This one right here is my Space Age VA4 speaker strobe. This one right here is my uh, Starrett Electric Time SFA-12-2 plate with a Starrett Electric Time SAU-4-7 rebranded Wheelock 34 horn. We got my Space Age Infinity Series strobe. This one is an unusual one right here. This one is an FCI BSDW strobe plate. This one right here is my Edwards 374 375L 24 volt DC horn. Has the same mechanism as a Simplex 4041 or 450 horn. This one right here is my Edwards 374A 24 volt AC horn we got my Edwards 892 2B horn strobe <coughs> we got my Edwards 894B-001 I think it is it is an 894B-001 we got my Gentex GXS remote strobe my Gentex GOS this one's a Gentex GMS this one is a Starrett Electric Time 30A horn that one right there is my uh, Faraday 6020 this one is my uh, rare Faraday 7410 horn with the uh, with the uh, small electromagnet and the flat diaphragm. Here we got my flush mount Edwards adapter horn. Here we got my Feral Signal 450 horn with a VALS eye strobe flush mount. We got my Starrett Electric Time 450 horn. We got my Faraday 5430 non polarized horn. We got my Feral Signal. 450 with the uh, newer with the newer diaphragm. We got my uh, Simplex 4040 six volt AC horn, and this one right here is my uh, Barrel Signal 350 that I got brand new in the box. Right over here is my. Uh, ADT coded pulse station and this is my simplex 4253-1 coded pulse station on a back box right over here is my uh, sim are right over here are three simplex 4050s this one on the left came brand new in the box and this one right there as the as a different label has the older label these two are 12 volts AC this one is 120 volts AC this one right here is a rather rare horn this one is 
an Abzigo BZ, a BZ50P horn. This right here is my Pyrotronics HAC-120 industrial signal. And right over here is my uh, Simplex, Simplex Truard Strobe <coughs> from 2001. Here's my uh, IBM 4030-1B. Right over there is my uh, Benjamin Electric N8546 120 volt horn. This one right here is my uh, IBM the Simplex 4030-2B dual projector horn. Right over here is a very rare one that was originally New Age Servo Alarms. This is a Firelight 450 horn. This is a Firelight 450 horn light. I'm going to show you the, the horn on this thing. Right over here is my uh, Gamewell 49588 120 volt single stroke chime. This one right here is my Simplex 2901-9806 early gen horn with a dual pro with a cherry red dual projector. This one is from 1980. Here's my uh, other Simplex dual projector. This one right here is the oldest fire alarm device in my collection and this one's from 1895. This is a Western Electric Company dual gong bell. And we got two mechanisms over there. You got a Simplex 4060-6 on the left, the beige one, and a Simplex 4070-6 on the right. And right there is my second oldest device from 1907. That's my old Faraday bell. Here we got an FCI This is an FCI BLV-6, 6 volt vibrating bell. And we got my uh, Faraday 3430, 120 volt 8 inch vibrating bell. Here we got my Simplex 2901-9361 single stroke 6 inch bell on an adapter plate. And we got my Simplex 4084 inch bell. That is 120 volts and, and unfortunately this spell does not work. Came with a device that I'm going to be showing you in a minute. Here we got my IBM RBF 4015-6As. This one came with a mechanism. This one and this one did not. These two I got out of a renovation. Five years ago. This 10 inch one is my IBM R4026-0A, has the voltage is AC to DC series. Here we got my uh, Simplex 2901-9362 single stroke 10 inch bell. This one right here is my Simplex 4027-00. 12 volt AC single stroke bell. This bell came out of my high school. This one right here is a Simplex 2904-9101 strobe. This one right here is a rare variant of the 2904. This is a dual bulb 2904. Simplex 2904-9003. And right there is a Simplex 405080 lens. We got a Simplex 4904 9001 remote light. And we got a Simplex 4903-9105 strobe plate with a 2901-9846 with the silver with the silver plate. 
Whatever here is my simplex 2901-9806 B4 horn with a simplex 4903-9102 light plate. Right over here is my simplex 4904-9185 horn strobe uh, strobe plate with a simplex B2 20 with a B2 simplex 2901-9806 horn. This is a rare one. This is a simplex 4051 horn on a white fire wiring simplex 405080. Give you a look at the back of my plate. There's a label of the 405080. Right over here is my simplex 2902 9735 speaker trope on a 2975-9145 back box. Right here is my Simplex 2903-9001 with a 2901-9833. Technically this 2903 right here is a 9101 but the previous seller put a lamp in this. He put a lamp in this plate. Right over here is my Simplex 2902- 9234 with a 2903-9002 light plate. This one's a service mount 2903. Right over here is a kind of rare one. This is a dual bulb 2903. This is a 2901-9806 horn on a 2903-9005 light plate. And this one has slightly different back box. This one is a 696 969 back box. So is this one. This is an early gen simplex 2903 9101 strobe plate. Actually, no, this one is actually a rare one. This is an 120 volt AC simplex 2903. It's a 2901 9549 120 volt AC horn with a simplex 2903. 9050 light plate and there's a plug that it has when I got the 120 volt 2903 it originally came with this 4 inch bell but unfortunately it doesn't work so I took that out and put the 9549 in it right over here is my actual early gen simplex 2903 9101 strobe plate with a B2 2901-9806 horn. And this one's on a 2975-9145 back box. Right over here is my third generation simplex 2903-9101 strobe plate from the late 80s with a 2901 9 horn. This one right here is my simplex 2903-9102 service mount strobe plate with a 2903 with a 2902-9207 vibrating shine. Right over here is my simplex 4903-9426 true alert on a on an adapter plate. Right over here is my simplex 4903-9101 with a 2901-9838 and this one right here is my uh, another 4903-9101 with a simplex 2901-9840 horn and there's the last device that I'm going to be showing for now before I get to the PALS this one right here is a dip, is it not common is an uncommon variation of the 4903 this one is a simplex 4903 9221 electromechanical white horn strobe let's get to my two panels right over here is my uh, simplex 2001 panel from 1982 this panel is 40 years old and it still works and right over here is my Simplex 4005 panel from 1999. I used to have a Napco panel, but I ended up getting rid of it. Yeah, 
and that is a video of my entire fire alarm collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at New York Fire Alarm Tech. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys soon. Happy New Year.